Good morning, my dear students. I welcome you to the online series. I hope you are perfectly fine at home. This lecture is for class seventh. A quick recap: We have done the theory part of the chapter, the sentence, as well as covered the writing part. The writing part comprised the definition of sentence, features of sentence, kinds of sentences, their definitions, and with their examples today we'll be doing the exercise related with the topic the kinds of sentence exercise a rearrange the given group to to form sentences as directed remember to use exclamation mark full stop question mark and capital letters where required i hope you have read the instruction Let us do the first sentence. Sachin is playing not in the match. The instruction says we have to change this sentence in a negative way. How we are going to change? Now, Sachin. It is a negative sentence, so we are going to write Sachin is not playing. is not playing in the match now we have rearranged these group of sentences and transformed these group into a negative sentence sachin is not playing in the match now can you rearrange these group of words come please here it's a request how will you do it yes request always starts with please come here and you'll place a full stop at the end to me listen is the third sentence to me listen the instruction says come on what is the command then how will you change listen to me listen to me and you'll place a full stop at the end and the sentence will begin with a capital letter fourth sentence says the weather is lovely how and the instruction says exclamatory how you are going to group these words into an exclamatory sentence easy enough let's try how lovely the weather is weather is it is an exclamatory sentence so what are we going to place over here which punctuation very good we are going to place exclamation mark the fifth statement says a wonderful performance what was it again an exclamatory mark So how will you transform this group of words? Please try. Very good. What a wonderful performance it was. And you'll place a exclamation mark at the end of the sentence. Now just notice over here students that the exclamatory sentence will always begin with what and how okay now coming forward to the sixth statement they are returning from delhi today now the instruction says it should be a question how you are going to regroup these words into a question are they coming very good are they coming sorry it is returning are they returning from delhi today are they returning from delhi today 
and you will place a question mark at the end of the statement because this is a question are they returning from delhi today now seventh statement the medicines regularly take now it is an advice you have to regroup these words to an advice what you will write take the medicines regularly or yes take the medicines regularly take the medicines regularly or another way of saying the sentence could be regularly take the medicines or you can also say regularly take the medicines the meaning remains the same regularly take the medicines full stop or you can also say take the medicines regularly right these are the two ways of saying the same um, sentence now the eighth statement he will the function attend it is an affirmative sentence you have to change to a affirmative sentence that is positive sentence how will you change he will the function attend he will attend the function that is a positive thing you are saying he will attend the function you will place a full stop at the end the sentence is he will attend the function it is a affirmative sentence moving forward to the ninth statement sharpen the pencil for me please it is a request now you have to arrange these group of words to a request we will always start request with please please sharpen the pencil for me full stop it says please sharpen the pencil for me full stop the tenth statement says they will board the train tomorrow now you have to ask a question from this group you have to ask a question they will board the train tomorrow what will be the question will they board the train tomorrow and you will place a question mark at the end of the sentence because this is a question and these were the affirmative sentences that is that is why we have placed a full stop and it was an imperative sentence it was followed by a full stop an exclamatory sentence is followed by a exclamation mark so these were the sentences which you have arranged according to the instructions given in the question mark this was exercise a for the chapter the kinds of sentence exercise b and c will be followed in the next video thank you so much for watching